Welcome back to Steve's World of Wonders. Hi, I'm back at Lansdowne, this time on the correct day. I've got the uh, Aberdeen Pavilion in the background here, also known as the Cattle Castle. The farmers used to showcase their livestock there at the exhibitions that uh, were here for around a hundred years. So let's go into this building. It's always free to go in there and check out the 613 Flea, flea Market that they have here uh, a handful of times each year. Let's check it out. Old advertisements here. Stephen Crean salt and pepper shakers there. All kinds of neat stuff. Porky pig. Slimer glass. Pins. What kind of pins do they have? and insulators. Mm -hmm. 
Hi everyone, so let's check out what I got at the flea market today at 613 Flea inside the Aberdeen Pavilion, otherwise known as the Cattle Castle. Now let's check out my haul. I didn't get too, too much, but what I did get was pretty cool. From one of the uh, first booths I went to, I actually picked up I picked up those uh, salt and pepper shakers that I saw there. And I just noticed that it says Contiki on the back. I told the owner of the booth, the, the vendor there, that I thought these were Contiki. He must have thought I was crazy since it says Contiki on the back. And it says uh, designed by designed by S O O Rain. S O Rain. I think that's a misprinting because or I got a fake pair. Uh, I don't think I don't think it's fake. I think it's a, like a misprint. Because Stephen Crane was the owner of the Contiki chain. And this probably is supposed to say S Crane. The the vendor, he was from Montreal, so most likely these are from the Contiki that was in Montreal inside the Sheridan Hotel. I believe it was there until the 1990s or maybe late 80s. I never got to go there. But now I have a souvenir from Canadian Tiki history. Tiki history in general. When veterans came back from exotic locate being stationed in exotic locations, there was a big craze to uh, bring a bit of the exotic to restaurant interiors. Music at the time also had a bit of an escapism into exotic locales with exotic music and was the genre was called exotica. So now I have these. Um, I can probably find pictures of these old advertisements or maybe from... Maybe they have pictures of these in the actual restaurant. So I'm going to put that I'm gonna put pictures of that right here. Here's a photo of the Contiki at 1455 Peel Street in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, which opened in 1958 and closed in 1981. Here's a postcard from that Contiki. And you can see sort of uh, my salt shaker shaped things on the table there. This was the flagship restaurant for the Contiki, a very successful chain. Of note is that Stephen Crane was once married to famous Hollywood actress Lana Turner. Crane was not only the owner of the chain, but he also designed the salt shakers I have, plus menu designs and etc. That was a cool item that I bought. And the found and bought. I'm glad I spotted those. That's a nice thing to add to my tiki collection that's growing bigger. The next booth I went to, I was looking through a bowl full of old matchbook covers to see if I could find any uh, interesting restaurants. And I found this matchbook, the Hookie Lao, to go with my uh, tiki collection. Uh, it's from Key West, Roosevelt Boulevard in Florida. And it's got a little tiki image on there. Focus, focus. And we're going to the hookie lao. Hookie, 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 hookie lao. The fun thing about this is that when I found it, I asked what the price was and the lady, the nice lady at the booth, she said, you can have it. And I said, oh, that's great. That'll go with my little tea salt and pepper shaker. She asked to see them and I showed them to her and she thought that was really great. 
so this came free. And the third thing I bought is in here. Can you guess what it is? Let's open it up. Third thing I bought was a jar full of marbles. And this was only $4. Um, the reason why I think that's a good deal is because there are some there are some choice marbles in here. Some really nice ones. I uh, I really like marbles. I think they're uh, little tiny artworks of their own in there. So that was a nice um, nice find. Four dollars for some well crafted marbles there's some there's some regular ones in there i think they're all antique ones i like this red one here That's neat. some with mirror uh, mirrored looks to them we, we used to call these toothpastes the ones that were white with colors um, Some nice marbles in there and that's all I got so I hope you like my trip to Lansdowne and uh, my walk through the flea market there I appreciate you all watching thanks again for watching Steve's World of Wonders if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and I'd appreciate it if you put some comments down below let me know what you think of this video if you enjoyed it I forgot to mention that these aren't the only items from the Contiki in Montreal that I have. I also have, let's see it says Contiki there. Oh, uh, before I go on to that, the, uh, the vendor who was selling these told me that it's rare to find them with the stoppers still on the bottom. And these still have the original stoppers. But uh, this is another item, it's got the same type of glazing on it. And it's also from the Contiki at the Sheraton Montreal, Montreal, Canada restaurant. As you can see there. Why doesn't it ever focus? Anyways, there it is. Yeah, so this is a... This, I found this in a little uh, antique store in Morrisburg and uh, it was $10 I think, really good price. Oh see and it says copyright Stephen Crane on the bottom, that's Stephen Crane, Stephen Crane, what is that say? Associates, Stephen Crane Associates. So that's why I think these probably say, are supposed to say Crane, even though it says O-Rain, S-O-Rain. I'll have to look that up. Well, that's neat, and I got the three of these as part of my collection, it's part of my growing collection of tiki items, authentic tiki items. Well, not all of my collection is authentic, it just gives uh, I like things that have that aesthetic to them. A certain aesthetic to them that, that I like, that I enjoy. And these fall under that category of things that I like. Are you going to the Ookie Lao? Ookie 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 Lao? Are you going to the Ookie Lao? Hooky 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 loud. Hooky 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 loud. Look at their uh, little butts. Cone Tiki. Oh, and also in inside this, I have. Another matchbook. 
for the Contiki. Exotic South Seas Dining. And these three guys are known as, uh, in, in uh, tiki lore, as the cannibals, the three cannibals. Contiki, Sheridan, Mont Royal, Montreal. There's all, all the ports of the uh, Contiki Chain Restaurant. There's a big chain by Stephen Crane. So, some Tiki history right in that matchbook. So I can add this uh, Hukilau matchbook in there as well. We'll keep that in here. So that was a nice find at the flea market. I wasn't expecting to find any tiki items or a uh, jar of marble. I can't wait to uh, get into this and uh, inspect each one and see uh, see what good treasures I got here. Ooh, there's one that's really magnifying. There's a clear one here. There's one with a pearl finish to it. Lots of different ones. Very cool. Very cool things to add to my collections. Why don't we actually check out a few of these marbles? I like this green one here. Nice color. This one's here, so it's sort of black and bumpy. Speckled. See, these are all like little pieces of art. It's amazing all the work that goes into making a marble. Have you ever thought about how they make a marble? Look at that one there. These ones have little bumps. Look at this crystal one. Some of them are like little magnifying glasses. Look, everything's upside down in the uh, in the image. It's pretty neat. This one has a blue bluish green tint. This one has a yellow piece of glass in the middle. Some of these have chips out of them. Not, not entirely in good shape. This one has a mirrored, mirrored look to it. Almost a coppery look. Look at that one, it's nice. I like the colors of that one. A nice blue one there. Some nice ones. Look at this green. That's a nice one. bumpy one here. Look at the blue spot it creates on the 
table there. That's pretty neat. Did I miss any? That's neat. Well, there's one solid red one here. And a translucent red one. Oh, that's a nice turquoise. Nice turquoise color. this one. It's all yellow. Pretty neat. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. Thanks for watching Steve's World of Wonders. Bye for now. Are you going to blow? Pilau. Pew, 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 pilau. Are you going to blow? Pilau. Hoopy, 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 pilau. Are you going to the hoopy, pilau? Hoopy, 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 pilau. Are you going to the hooky law? Hooky 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 law. Hooky 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 law. Hooky 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 law.